Hi everybody, Darcy here coming at you from ErgonomicsHelp.com. Today I am answering a subscriber's question about whether or not a standing desk can resolve long-term lower back pain. Sound familiar to you? Well, do you want to stick around? Because I'm going to be getting into the answer in just a second. Thanks so much for your question, George. And today I'm going to be giving you some tips about how to set up your chair to minimize lower back risks, that risks are related to discomfort. And then second of all, what you can do to make sure that a standing desk is right for you before jumping in with that purchase. So first of all, let's talk about your chair setup. And there's a couple of things that I'm going to be sharing with you today that have been linked with lower back pain. So we're just going to be talking about the backrest and specifically whether or not the lower back, this part right here, the lumbar support, is in a good position for you and whether or not the chair angle, so this backrest angle, is in a good position for you. First of all, this needs to be right fit to where your lower back curves in. So often when I go into office workstations, I see that this part is either too high or too low and sometimes doesn't have enough pressure to give the support that you need. So to adjust this, there's usually a function to the right side of the chair and you can raise it up or lower it. You want to have it in a good position that it feels comfortable and you feel relief in it. Second of all, some chairs allow you to change the pressure or density of this. So if your chair has it, that's great. Usually it's in um, more upper priced or expensive chairs. So check that out. Second of all, we're going to be looking at the backrest here. Um, specifically the back angle. The back angle needs to be between 95 degrees and 115 degrees reclined. That is based on the Canadian Standards Association. So why that's so important is that most people when they sit in their chairs, lean forward. And leaning forward puts the most strain on your lower back, just lower back, and that's related to a lot of discomfort. So by sitting slightly reclined in your chair and making sure that the lower back support is positioned exactly where you need it to be in your lower back area, you're gonna find some relief. And you should feel this immediately, and you want to have this for, you want to try this for like a few weeks and if that doesn't help your pain then let's look into one of our other solutions that we're going to be talking about. The second thing that I want to go over to answer your question is whether or not you get more pain relief when you're sitting or when you're standing. If you have more pain relief when you're standing, then a standing desk is probably going to be their best option here. And before you jump in and make that big investment in a standing desk or a sit-stand desk, what you want to do first is mock it up at your current workstation. And the way to do that is to grab empty boxes, texts, containers, etc. and stick that underneath your monitor, your keyboard, and your mouse. And this is to raise your hand working height and your monitor height to a good level to see whether or not you get relief. Try this out for a couple weeks, and if you find that your pain has significantly resolved, you'll probably be a really good candidate for a standing desk. Now, to find out how to exactly set up your standing workstation to fit you, check out our free ebook. The link is in our description below. George, thank you so much for your question today. If anyone else has any other questions about their standing workstation or any other ergonomic questions, please feel free to fire them at us and we'll get to them when we can. Thanks so much. Stay safe, everybody. Darcy here, signing off from ergonomicshealth.com. <laughs>